Hey everyone, hope you're having a great evening. I wanted to take a minute and just share some thoughts about some appraisals uh, situations, appraisal situations. But I also wanted to share with you this view here. Um, this is this is one of the best views you'll ever see of, of uh, anywhere. I, I just love this. Um, this home we've actually got under contract, but we've got another home uh, right next to it that is still for sale. If you're interested, this home has incredible views. That home has really great views, but this home has just incredible views of the canyon here uh, in Midway. But anyway, uh, if you can focus for a minute, let me talk to you about appraisals, okay? I'll, I'll try to let you keep viewing the canyon. But we've had um, a situation where I wanted to share with you a couple of things that you need to know, uh, specifically as a buyer, somewhat as a seller as well, about appraisals. Now, uh, for a buyer, you, you need to get the appraisal. The lender's going to order the appraisal. The appraisal will come in. You need to know that you have a right to that appraisal. There was a law passed in 2010, uh, Equal Credit Opportunity Act, and that law said that you as the buyer are, uh, or the lender is obligated to give you, the buyer, a copy of the appraisal. And they're supposed to give it to you promptly after they receive it. Uh, or within three days of closing, whichever one's earlier. Now, why you want to make sure that you get that appraisal is because as you as you're going through the lending process, and and uh, you need to you want to make sure that you have the correct value of that property, and you want to be able to look and review what the the comparables were, what was used, and some of the properties. Now, this is where uh, you and your realtor will come into probably working with the seller. Uh, seller's agent, the seller's realtor, because that, that agent is going to know the area, they're going to know what comparables that they looked at when they priced the home, and it's critical just because sometimes you'll get a comparable, a home that's the uh, same acreage, same square footage, but it may have been distress, there may have been something about the home that was a problem, and, and so that listing agent probably is going to know stuff like that. So you want to be able to get that appraisal, and, and your lender not only is obligated to give you the appraisal, but any additional paperwork, any uh, reviews, any, uh, anything else that he's using to get your loan put together, or that the appraiser used to come up with those appraisals, or the uh, appraisal of that property. So critical that you know that, that you take the opportunity to work with your lender, let him know as soon as the appraisal comes in, give me a copy of it. I, I you know, want to review it. I want to make sure that I'm getting some good value in my property. Um, just a couple things about the market. It's been interesting, at least here in Utah, things have slowed down a little bit. Days on market have gone up a little bit. Uh, the inventory has stayed about the same. So it, it's, it's kind of interesting, but uh, anyway, it's still a good time to either sell property or buy property. If you have either and you're interested, if you have a question about appraisals, give me a call, uh, shoot me a text or a message, and I'd love to help you. And anyway, just we'll let you finish off looking at that view again. And don't get many views like this, you guys. So other than over in Wallsburg, I'll do another uh, video over in Wallsburg. But Midway, Midway has some awesome views. So anyway, you guys have a great night and we'll talk to you soon.